<clears throat> hey guys, Anthony here. It's Saturday, October 14th, 2017, and I just filmed a 20-minute video highlighting my new scanner from Whistler, the TRX-1, and I didn't know the video wasn't on. I hit the camera button instead, so I just basically took a picture of myself and talked for like 20 minutes and then uh, tried to upload it and figured out it wasn't a video. So this is take, actually it's take four of this video. <clears throat> um, I'm home today and uh, yesterday in the mail I received my Whistler TRX-1 scanner with all the bells and whistles on it. Guys, uh, I don't know too much about this technology. I did some research on it for the last couple of weeks because uh, I was leaning towards uh, the Unidin scanner. The uh, Unidin makes one comparable uh, to this one. Uh, and that's actually a really good scanner as well. It, that's the one I originally was, was looking at. And then I went on to uh, a website called uh, Zip Scanners. And uh, they um, sell the Unidin also, but they were leaning more towards this one. So what we're getting right now is live coverage 45. with my Whistler scanner here. Shows you where the call is coming from. And you just heard there's some kind of fight going on. Gives you the battery status, which is here. There's rechargeable batteries uh, that came with it. They're in the case here. After you take this off, you access the battery case. And then there's also a micro SD card with all your software and everything on that as well and anything that you program. Uh, the software comes programmed uh, actually for the, all of the United States and Canada. However, um, that pulls in every frequency. Uh, if you're going to go to an area, say I was going to drive to an area, um, another county, I could go put the zip code to where I'm going to be into the radio and then it would pick up and pull in all those frequencies in that area so I can now listen to uh, what was being broadcast. But that's going to bring in maybe a whole lot of other stations that I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear the average uh, garbage man or the school even. But, I'm at, but I am interested in police, fire, EMS, uh, sheriff, uh, highway patrol, things like that. So that's what I want to hear. And so that's what the package that I bought from Zip Scanners included uh, the scanner, which you see here, the belt clip, the rubber duck antenna, um, one county programmed by the Zip Scanner professionals, cutting out all the other garbage, and just giving me. They'll be standing under the pharmacy sign. No, no weapon. So he doesn't have a weapon on him, apparently. Um, the wall outlet, the USB cable, four AA rechargeable batteries, um, and I think I, I don't know if I mentioned the belt clip, but everything that whole package with one county programmed for free, and then um, everybody else can slow down. He's, I got him in handcuffs. He's the tank. They got him. All right. So see you guys. One to ten. I'm going to talk about why I bought this in a minute, but I think you're going to see and understand why I bought this or why people buy uh, scanners like this um, so they can know information and have information. So I have everything that I need right now, and I also asked or paid extra for. Everybody else can 1022. On this order. For under $600, I got 45. three counties programmed Mecklenburg County. Lancaster County, South Carolina, and Union County, North Carolina, uh, scheduled because those are the counties that I'm in most of the time. Um, and then if I do venture somewhere else, again, I could put in uh, manually, once I learn how to do that, the county or the zip code and uh, pull in the uh, frequencies or the uh, channels for that area. Or I could go to zip scanners, make give them a list of counties that I want to have. They'll put them, they'll program them, take out all the unnecessary um, program or channels I don't want to hear, 
and then they'll put it on an, a micro SD card, send it to me. When I go to that area, I pop out this card, pop in that card, and I'm up and running, uh, just like you see here. Now I'm back to scanning the, the, the three counties. You can see here. I don't know if you can see that too good. Let's see if I can get a better. There's some glare here in the garage. Anyway, that's scanning right now the three counties uh, that I haven't set up for. If you can see that. See that top arrow by the battery button moving and scanning. When it does pull in a channel that comes online, I could hit this select button there, this button right here. I can hit that, and it'll stop it on that channel and keep it there until I hit it again, and then it will go back to scan mode. This does have a weather on it. It's got a skip feature. Uh, it's got, guys, it's got more features on it than I could even begin to be talking about. Um, let me just show you back here. Back here on this box are some of the features that the scanner has, and it'll actually blow your mind, um, all the power this thing has. Uh, the reason why I chose the Whistler uh, brand that you see here is because of the lifetime updates for free when they do change the software or make additions, deletions, whatever. You get that uh, software upgrade for free. You could just download it to your radio. Um, so I like that. Other scanners like Uniden, I think you got to pay for that. Um, I just like the way the radio was set up. I like the way it looked, the feel. Well, not the feel. I didn't, wasn't able to feel it, but I like the, the way it was being demoed, how it looked in the uh, person's uh, hand. And so... I decided to go with that. I contacted Zip Scanners. They're a really professional company. They shipped it out to me in a few days. It comes, you have to sign for it. And um, I, was, I wasn't I was home the day it came, so I had to go to the post office and get it. But uh, again, just got it yesterday. Been driving around with it in my van, and it's absolutely great in the van. I do have a uh, Wilson antenna from uh, that I used with my... Um, with my Bearcat uh, ham radio, excuse me, my Bearcat CB radio that I bought a couple years ago. And actually that antenna works with this. I just pop off this antenna. I have the antenna on the mag mount of my roof of my van. I have the wire coming inside the van. I just pop this off when I get in the van, pop the antenna wire on there with the B, the proper connector that it has already. And while I'm driving, I'm up and running. Last night we were driving around. We went out to get a pizza, and I went in. And it was about eight o'clock, eight thirty, and they said, "Hey, there's an hour wait." So I told my my wife, "So well, we had the dogs with us. We were going to eat in the van anyway." And so um, I said, "Sure, we'll wait an hour." We went back in the van, rolled the windows down. It was a nice, cool night, and uh, hung out and listened uh, to calls coming in. We actually listened to some calls of. Uh, some robberies that were going on or attempted robberies, some break-ins, all kinds of stuff. And so that leads me into why did I purchase this radio? Why did you spend $600 on something like this? And the reason is, the main reason is to round out my communication plan. My communication plan consists of uh, being able to uh, operate a ham radio. The numbers or whatever. Two meter, seventy centimeter, which gives me a lot of local coverage in case of an emergency and for day to day use. It also gives me um, the ability to go high frequency, which I have equipment that does that. I can cover worldwide information or to listen and to talk. Um, I've got local. CB radio for like being on the road for trucking. I've got handheld walkie talkies in uh, FRS, GMRS mode, um, line of sight mode. Um, so basic walkie talkie type communication. Uh, cell phones, as you know, are not always the most reliable. They go down, they can get shut down. Um, what this radio gives me is the ability to listen the things going on in my area of operation, if something breaks bad, I'll hear it and I can make plans to um, either get away from the threat, if there is a threat, 
uh, go help, uh, offer assistance if it's something that I think uh, I can offer assistance to. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons why uh, you want something like this. You could hear things in real time. If I'm driving around Charlotte, which I do every single day, I'm on the road, um, and something breaks bad, and I'm headed a certain direction, maybe I'm going into that area. Maybe there's a riot breaking out. Maybe they're, they're closing, uh, people are shutting down roads and, and highways or bridges or overpasses or underpasses. Um, like happened in California recently. They blocked the highway um, to hold up a sign saying uh, November 4th it begins. You know, Antifa movement, uh, the communist Marxist movement in the country that's going on right now. I want to hear stuff like that if it's going on so I could go the other way. Why would I want to drive into something like that if I don't have to? I don't want to be caught in the middle of something if I don't have to be. And then at home, I could hear things in my own area going on, um, like we did last night, like we like I'm doing right now. And I could say, oh wow, that that's right down the street or a few blocks away, and there's a, you know, there's some crazy people running through the woods with guns or whatever it is, or there's a big accident. Um, maybe they need assistance or. Um, if I'm driving, I can avoid that area. So, so that is the um, reason, the main reason why it rounds out my comms. It gives me the ability to know what's going on um, around me. Police, fire, EMS, emergency services, um, things like that. I could hear them. It pulls them in. This scanner is the most modern one out there. Um, and it can do it. Again, I was hoping some calls would come in while I was talking. And there you see it's telling you where it's coming in from. It gives you all the information. You can record the call if you want and go back and listen to it later. Or if you leave your house, you can leave it on record on, the, on a, a channel, your most favorite channel, your local channel. And it'll record the voice and you can listen to it, uh, what came over the call. Some people do that. It time stamps it and tells you what time it was recording uh, so you know when things were taking place. Um, this, my friends, is a very, very powerful uh, tool uh, to have in your arsenal. Uh, everything's not about uh, guns and ammo and things like that and knives. Uh, communications is super, super important. Talk to, talk to people in our military that go out on a mission. The comms guy is probably one of the most important guys that goes out with them. Uh, the guy that's navigating or calling back base or calling in an airstrike or calling for extra help uh, or communicating between the, uh, the forces that are, that are doing the uh, assault or the attack or the maneuver. Uh, the comms guy is important and information is vital. And so this is the reason why I have uh, this scanner. So as you see, I hit the uh, select button here. This is no means a tutorial with this, um, but I hit the select button and it stopped when I heard the call. Now I can go right back to my scanning and it's scanning the counties that I have programmed in here. Um, and then you can see that going through its paces. And then if it pulls something else in and it comes in and I want to listen to it, I just hit select again. I can get that. I can get a weather alert when there's a so the place. This guy got up in the face of one of the workers. Got yellow cab on the way. They want him just uh, safely removed from the property in a cab, not in his vehicle. I'll be 10 12 waiting on yellow cab. He called him. Crystal clear, guys. I'm in my garage right now. And so now it goes right back to scanning. Now, I could have stayed on that station if I wanted to by hitting select. Uh, here's your power button. This powers it down, powers it on, and it uploads. It just takes a few seconds. You got your squelch knob right here. They say to set that between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock, which I think it is. I might have moved it. Yep. That's set the proper way. You probably can't see that, but it is. Uh, you've got a jack here uh, for a headphone if you want to listen to that. Uh, this side panel here is where you put your um, micro, uh, your USB. Plug it in and you plug it into the wall. And you're running off of AC power that charges your batteries as they are in the unit. You don't have to pop these batteries out uh, to, 
to charge them in a separate charger and then put them back in. Uh, they'll charge inside the unit. I don't know how long they take to uh, charge back up, but if you leave it plugged in, leave the unit off, I'm gonna, which I'm going to do, and see how long they take the top off. Right now they're about halfway, halfway down, halfway depleted. Okay. When I'm in my vehicle, I could actually, if I can, I could plug, if I wanted to, I could keep it plugged into the Yeti battery with the plug here, and I won't have to run off battery power while I'm driving. I just got to pull my Yeti out and bring it closer to uh, where I'm driving, or just get a ex little extension cord and I'll plug it in because it's in the middle of my van. And so while I'm driving, I have access to this uh, to this as well. Uh, so guys. Just in, in closing, my philosophy, uh, my thinking right now is that um, we are at a, at a point in our country, and I'm 15 minutes into this video. The last one I made in front of the a still picture uh, was about 20 minutes, I think. But we are in a point in our country where we're seeing groups of people, large groups of people that cross rich, poor, um, po political uh, people, Hollywood types, uh, athletes that are leaning towards a Marxist type of uh, government. They're standing for causes, not because they're standing for a cause, but the end result of standing for that cause, which is to ch fundamentally change our country. If you talk to these people, the ones that are in this movement, being paid, uh, being brainwashed, uh, by the upper upper management, if you will, or the global elites, uh, political uh, people within our own government. If you listen to these people, it's never about uh, the the statue of Robert E. Lee they want to take down, or the statue of Christopher Columbus, or something that offends them today. Uh, that's not offend something that doesn't offend them today may offend them tomorrow. It's not because it offends them; they can care less. It's about the end result. It's about bringing the change. It's about like an Arab Spring type change. Create enough chaos, animosity between groups, uh, racism, however you could do it. Uh, class warfare. These are, these, are, these are things that they're not even hiding now. They're actually saying it. If violence is the means to do it, it violence it'll be. Up to and including killing people. So I think that we are at a point in our country where this is going to explode into something really, really big. It already has. In my opinion, it already has. And other videos that I've talked about go into a little more detail on this. But what's coming down the pike could be a lot worse than what we've seen at any time in the past. And with the um, what's going on in what went on in Las Vegas right now that we're not even seeing uh, any semblance of wanting to solve the case. We're just getting more and more confused about why this so-called guy a single shooter uh, wanted to do all this. There's no video in hotels in Vegas that can videotape you, uh, what you're saying in, on your lips and lip read you. They can look at the your fingernail if you're cheating on a, on a table with dice or something. But yet they don't have pictures of this guy checking in, checking out, walking up to his room, getting off the elevator, uh, sitting in the casino or drinking a beer or having a glass, having dinner or sushi. Nothing. Nothing's emerged. And people are disappearing. People are changing their stories. Guys, this is not right. Something is out of whack. And until we understand that, we have to take measures on, One, on our I'll own levels. I'll be on Ring Road near Dave Buster's Nori Bay. We have to take precautions for ourselves and our family. And one of the ways to do this is how do you keep yourself safe? How do you keep yourself out of something like a riot or, some, or uh, uh, a roadblock or something like that? This might help you. And for the $600 or whatever it costs, you don't have to spend it that much on this. You can get something else, maybe a lesser expensive radio. But I wanted to get something that was maybe the latest and greatest just so I had more peace of mind. And I had the money, and so I went ahead and bought it. Other people spend their money on bottles of wine at dinner, $200 or a $300 dinner. I choose not to do that. I'll go out and get a pizza and a bottle of beer if I want, or a bottle of uh, root beer, and um, spend the rest of my money or put it into a fund 
uh, and save up for something like this. Uh, other preps, and I'm going to show you, you know, light being able to see in the dark. Simple stuff people take for granted. Then they're shuffling around for a, a big lighter to make a to to act as a flashlight. Guys, the time to prepare is now. The time to prepare is now. And something like this rounds out, again, I'll recap, it rounds out my communication plan and now makes it more complete. And when I set up my ham radio shack and when I move in a few weeks and I set up my systems and my antennas and everything, this will be one part, one piece to the puzzle of getting information out and taking information in because it's all about that in an SHTF or a bad situation. Listening to the information and knowing what's going on is very, very important for you and your family's well-being, I believe. Feel free to chime in. Feel free to give me your experiences with uh, these types of radios, your knowledge. Share it on this channel. Feel free. And feel free to comment. Um, stay ready. God bless. Hopefully our country can turn around. Right now it doesn't look like that. But... Um, and do all that you can to keep the fabric of this country together. Don't fall for the schemes of what these uh, evil people are perpetrating. Stay ready. Anthony, signing off.